The leaves of the trees are for the healing of the nations. Revelation 22 and verse 2. Good morning, my beautiful people. Walk one. Today, guys, I'll be featuring a very unique and fascinating plant called pepper elder here in Jamaica. The scientific name for pepper elder is Piper hispidum, and it's a species of flowering plant in the Piperaceae family to which black pepper also belong. It is also commonly known as spiked pepper, hispid pepper, joint wood, black jointer, hairy pepper, among other names. Please leave a comment below guys and let me know what it is called in your area. Piper hispidum is native to the tropical regions of the Americas, including Central and South America and the Caribbean. It is a very versatile plant with a rich history of use in traditional medicine. Modern herbalists and researchers continue to explore its potential application in the fields of botany, pharmacology and natural medicine. In some regions, the leaves, stems, seeds and roots of this plant are used as spice or flavoring for food. Research has shown that Piper hispidum possesses anti-inflammatory properties which help to reduce inflammation and alleviate conditions related to chronic inflammation. Its antibacterial properties makes it useful in treating bacterial and fungal infections. Its analgesic properties help relieve pain and discomfort in the body. It is especially effective in treating joint pains. Treats digestive issues such as indigestion, upset stomach, nausea and vomiting, bloating and gas, diarrhea and dysentery, abdominal pain and cramps, constipation, gastritis and stomach ulcers. It has been used topically to help heal wounds and cuts. It has diuretic properties which help support kidney function and promote the production of urine. It is antipyretic, meaning that it helps reduce or prevent fever help treat respiratory issues such as coughs and colds. Some studies suggest that compounds in Piper hispidum may have anti-cancer properties. However, more research is needed to confirm these effects. The plant's leaves, stems and roots have been used to prepare teas, infusions and decoctions to treat all these ailments. Medical Disclaimer The information shared at Herbal Gold Rush is for educational purposes only. These herbs must not be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medications. If you are feeling ill or have any serious health problems, please consult a medical doctor. If you have enjoyed this video, Please subscribe and follow for more educational videos like this.